All right, founder of MicroQuire here. In this video, I'm gonna go over how to create a startup profile to help your company potentially get acquired. And that's why we founded MicroQuire, to build the most founder-friendly marketplace in the world. Our goal is to help entrepreneurs get acquired. And so we've made it as easy as possible to list your startup on MicroQuire and start meeting serious vetted buyers within 24 hours and we also take care of most of the work so we'll make a buyer presentation for you we'll help your profile look really good for buyers so if you're not really sure what to write i'll go through just what we need to get started and it takes about two minutes so in this example you're going to land on microquire and the first thing you're going to want to do is create a seller account so i'm going to select i want to sell a startup i'm going to sign up now, this is going to launch me into MicroQuire where I'm going to start entering private information. Now, this is only information that is seen by buyers that I specifically grant access to. So for buyers to see this information, they'll send you a request and you, you have the ability to approve or deny that request, view their LinkedIn message, conversate with them back and forth, potentially send them an NDA, whichever you prefer. So this information is completely private. Now, once I enter in this information, I'm gonna be headed over to the public details. So right-hand side is private information, left-hand side is public information. So I'm gonna move through this pretty quickly. So what is MicroQuire? Startup acquisition marketplace. What is our annual recurring revenue? Add another zero on that. And I'm just going to go through and answer these questions. Founded it in June 2020, asking price 100 million. Um, I definitely recommend uh, going through our courses. We have a full startup acquisition academy that goes through valuations, common deal structures, how to prepare for an acquisition. There's so much great content here. And as a founder, the more that you know about the acquisition process, the better you're gonna be when you're speaking with buyers and potentially you'll attract more offers. So definitely check out all the content that we offer on MicroQuire. So moving back to this, gonna save this and now the first part of my startup profile is done. And that's really all we need at the top. And so next thing would be your business model. So we're a SaaS marketplace. We are on React and Google Cloud. And then competitors, I'm gonna think big here. So Google, Apple, and then growth opportunities, just a way that you feel a buyer could potentially capitalize on your business. Uh, for MicroQuire, increasing the amount of acquisitions. That is really what we are aiming to do is have as many startups acquired as possible. And then you can also select different ways that you feel could be applicable to your company when you're thinking about how to grow it. And then moving on to key assets, those would be things like your code base and your IP, your tech, your website, your brand, your social media accounts. Pretty much all of these should apply. And then if you have something other, maybe you know high value domain, maybe enterprise, customers, something like that, you can add those. And then keywords, I would just put SaaS marketplace, hit save. And then when it comes to selling, giving an honest answer here, this is something to really discuss with the seller or excuse me, the buyer. But in here, I'm just going to put, I'm looking to move on to a new project and just leave that there. I've seen some sellers have a lot of success with saying something like if depending on how quickly you're looking to sell your startup. If you're open to creative deal structures, this is a great opportunity to mention those. So open to creative deal structures and potentially seller financing. And we go over seller financing, which essentially means that you work with a buyer on a deal structure where maybe they pay 75% upfront and the other 25% over a six month period, whatever you agree to. So just letting sellers know that you're open to that 
does two things. One, it'll widen your buyer pool. And then two, it shows them that you're serious about selling your business because you've done your homework and you understand what common deal structures are out there and how you could potentially work with them to make their lives easier. So they don't have to suggest these things, explain seller financing. If you're open to that, if you're not open to that, that's perfectly okay. You can mention looking for an all cash acquisition. We see those all the time on microquire. The majority of the deals fall between all cash or seller financing. So I'm just going to make these numbers up. 600,000. You want these numbers to be accurate, definitely when you send them over to us. And so you're done. So now from here, what I can do is I can upload uh, documents. So if I wanted to, let's say, upload an overview, I can upload a PDF, I can upload an Excel document, I can upload really anything. And so buyers can view this. And then when they do, uh, it just gives them a little bit more confidence. And again, we do create a buyer presentation. So once you've created your profile, this is all you need to do. So what's going to happen next, and you'll notice a lot of startups on the marketplace look really good. So our team will go in, we'll manually review your profile, and we'll make sure that it looks amazing for buyers and attracts as much potential buyer interest as possible. And that email is going to come in the form of this one right here. So this is a simple email where basically we say before we approve your startup on a micro query, can you just answer these questions here? And this is our way of just doing due diligence on your business. Who are you? Where are you located? What is your LinkedIn URL? What's your background? Um, what is an overview of your company? What does it do? It takes about a few minutes to fill these questions out. And then when you do, we use those questions to create a really nice buyer presentation for you entirely free. So that's something we definitely take care of for you. And these right here are just some testimonials from buyers. Um, so that's pretty much it. Pretty simple, basically going over this one more time in summary. Oh, one other cool thing I'll do really quick is I'll set up metrics. So if you have, say, a chart mogul or you have a Stripe account, I can go into my startup profile and I can add those metrics. And so I'll show you how to do that right now. And I'll walk through some other parts of the marketplace as well. So what I'm going to want to do is go to back to my startup profile. So I'm going to click my startup. This is where I edit everything. And so I'm going to click metrics here at the top. And this allows you to connect, again, chart mogul, profit well, bear metrics, Stripe, Google Analytics, and really give buyers confidence of what your metrics are as you're representing them. So I'm going to pull my chart mogul API key. Add this in. And then once this submits, it looks like that. You can do this for Google, Google Analytics, Stripe, any of these metrics listed here. Now, income requests, again, is where buyer responses are going to be. So when buyers are interested, they'll reach out, they'll typically have a question, or they'll just want to learn more about your business. And from there, you can improve or deny them based on their LinkedIn profile or who they are as a person or how the conversation goes back and forth, which I highly recommend doing, just getting to know the person. The best way to really filter out what buyers are serious and which ones aren't is just asking to get on a phone call. If they say something like, hey, I'm just interested, but and your response is, sure, let me know if you'd like to hop on a call or if you have any questions and they don't respond back or something like that, they're probably not interested, so just move on. And then from there, other resources that we offer entirely free. So if you need help with escrow or tutorials, which is our resource section that, again, just covers so many topics for founders. We even have um, some really great podcasts that we've recorded with other buyers on MicroQuare talking about real acquisitions happening. And then legal docs as well. So we have templated NDAs, LOIs, completely free. 
you would just click this, download these, and we have the highlighted parts that you'll need to customize in yellow. And then if you if you're selling a startup that's doing you know several million in revenue, I highly recommend hiring a good M and A law firm. So we have a few listed here. We're gonna be building this out even more. So definitely check this out in terms of legal advice that you can get. And then if you're looking for an M and A advisor, maybe you want someone to help handle this process from end to end. We have a list of M and A advisors as well that you can hire for an hourly rate for a percentage of the sale, whatever their uh, pricing model is. You can go through these, reach out, and see if there's a fit. And sometimes, even just getting a few hours of advice from an experienced M and A advisor can make all the difference. And so, I definitely recommend that as well, especially if the startup is doing hundreds of thousands or potentially millions of dollars. Um, it's well worth really bringing in experts to help you maximize this outcome. Um, so that's about it. So again, once this happens, I'll just wait for MicroQuired to review this profile. And then once they're done with it, it will the team my team will go through this and make sure everything looks good and we'll typically have you live within 24 hours. So I hope this video is helpful. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to reach out to support at microquire.com and we'd be happy to answer any questions you might have about listing on microquire and we hope to potentially help your startup get acquired. Cheers.